Hey guys, Patriot Elemental back once again with Draco Sorcerer. Hello! And we're going after good old Bomb Man. Who has a really weird facial expression here, I guess. But his theme actually sounds pretty good. Yeah. Ah, mm, oh, mm. Mm, not today, please. And I think the next enemies are screw. Oh no, bomb bombs. bombs. Bomb bombs. Bomb bombs. Bomb bombs. Yeah. Bomb bombs are from Mario. Yeah. Now we have the screw bombs. Now, now we have the screw bombers. Oh, thank you. Let's go. The return of beaks. <laughs> you don't need to kill them. Let's just get right through. And now the triumphant debut of Sniper Joe. Works the same as in the original Mega Man games. When he's hiding behind his shield, he can't be damaged. But you have an opportunity to attack him when he lowers his shield to attack himself. Of course, if you get the positioning correctly, he's vulnerable in the foot. Or if you're able to sneak some shots through his shield. And also, killer bullets. They explode when they're shot. So um, they... Yeah, go ahead. No, you go ahead. It seemed like you had something important to say. Other than that, they're pretty much exactly like the penguins. Yeah. But, they do explode. And they cause a lot of damage. So, making them truly killer bullets. Yep. And these guys over death spikes. That's usually the positioning of flying shells. Woo! Nice! Ow! Oh! Does that count as a 1-up curse? Uh, no. It counts as a be careful because something's going to go wrong. Oh yeah, you cannot sneak shots through them because of how this game works. No, but in Mega Man 2 and up, you can. So, really, Snapper Joes are a more formidable threat in the original Mega Man. No, I mean, the Busters come from behind the Mega Man sprite, so... No matter how close you get, the shots will never be able to get through. So, not even in Mega Man 2 and 3 in the Wily Wars version? I don't think so, and that was real rude. And, ah, uh, you cannot snipe him in the foot. Arrgh. Our sources were incorrect. I wonder can in the NES games. Oh, you can't just fall. Oh, you can now? Where is he? Right behind me? Uh-oh. Hopefully this guy won't be as big of a problem as Iceman was. I don't think he will be, except for when he does that. Jeez. Personal space, man! Hitboxes! Splash damage. Yep. But hey, we picked up a couple of lives along the way, we should be good. Right? There we go, let's be smart about going down this time. And we're actually facing him this time! Yeah, cornered. Cornered. Chasing after us. Man, I wish Mega Man could slide. And cornered again. <laughs> Boom. Oh, hey, that actually wasn't bad at all. No, they actually have a death. They actually have a death sound. Like I told you, it sounds like farts. Also, I think Bomb Man actually took two damage per Buster Shot. He did, so that really wasn't bad compared to Iceman. <laughs> compared to Ass Man! Alright, but next time we're going after Fireman, and that guy always gave me a little bit of trouble. So, um, I'm gonna end this here. 
This is Hatred Elemental and Draco Sozier signing out. And compared to last episode, this one was really a breeze. Thanks for watching. Quite personally, I had a blast! <laughs> Goodbye, guys.